Welcome back to The Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings Part 9. So we're continuing with the prelude to war. Okay. Wait, is there no subtitles? So yeah, we're continuing with this prelude to war Edurn thing. Yeah, I um, I haven't played in a while. It's been really interesting. There's a lot of Witcher stuff come out recently. Like some interesting stuff to do with um, certain actors saying that they would like to play Geralt. Um, and I'll talk about that later in the episode because there's a lot about to happen in the game and I don't really want to miss it. So, yeah, I'll definitely, I'll go over that later in the episode, um, but I just thought that for now, what we're going to be doing is just this, this prelude to war to Eden thing, and normally what we'd be having here is the conversation, but we, uh, played out the whole conversation last episode, so we, uh, don't get to hear it. <laughs> it's fine. I mean, I always think, I mean, I'm playing as Prince Stennis right now. That's me. Um... And he's, I think, is it gold armor he's wearing, or is it just colored gold? It could be like bronze or something. I'm pretty sure it is gold. There was like this quote about it, and I've honestly forgotten what the quote is, but it was really good. Yeah, so we're almost there now. So I believe we're going to meet King. Uh, I believe we're going to meet King Hensalt to talk about the battle, because we're going to negotiate. We sign everything, Your Majesty, as you. We have guests. Hey, there's Welcome, Stennis, son of Demavend. I invite you. We're on the way. Greetings, Henselt. You seem at home in Edurn. You are here, yet I do not recall inviting you. Felot did so in your stead. I'm here at his behest. I've broken no truces or treaties yet. Oh, is that so? Mr. Brogan, please escort Count Felot to a secluded spot and remove his troublesome head. Don't you dare, boy. You're no king. Your father... My father is dead. The folk still mourn him while you betray his good name and his country. Your Majesty, I must request your protection. This young man has lost his mind. Take him away. Your Majesty, what of our agreement? I need you no longer, Ferret, now Stennis is here. Goodbye. Anyone else wish to object? Wonderful. To the matter at hand, then. Well said. I will show you my hand. I've over 200 armed men in camp nearby, enough to hold the fort for several hours. Another 5,000 battle-hungry lads await on the other bank. What say you to that? You'll break all the treaties. Yep, you will. Greater force have come up beneath Fergan's walls. We will go with... that. In attacking Edurn, you would break the provisions of the Peace of Sintra. All the northern kingdoms will be obliged to support me. None will stand with you. Radovid of Redania, the Dukes of the South. You dream, boy. They're not to be counted on. And the treaty, I piss on it as do they. You are alone. Not entirely. I'll stay out of this, Saskia. Well, well, she has a voice. Saskia the Dragon Slayer. You're much prettier than they claim. You'll need to throw in the last two. Peasants should work the fields, not rebel and burn down the estates of their masters. It's to your advantage to give her up. I'll not allow it. This land is under my protection. If no one else has the courage to stand up to you, I will. Listen well, King. You have one hour to quit Upper Eden with your forces. If you fail to do so, it's war. If but one Kudweni soldier remains on this land one minute past the deadline, it's war. You will instruct your heralds to proclaim around and about that you apologize to the people of Eden for this shameful incursion. Otherwise, it's war. <laughs> You've got balls, woman. My soldiers would call me a coward. Or a madman. I am Hensilt of Ard Kareg. I'll not run from a woman, even a dragon slayer. That apart, you're a pretty fetching lass. I want this land. I want its gold. And I want you, Dragon Slayer. Grab them! You will not grab us! Oh, damn. Sheila is really trying to screw us here. Okay, well, that was incredibly easy. I just had to hit about three times. Stop! Stop in the name of Kreev, Freyr, and Militele! Ah. 
By the milk of Mother Creatrix's tits, Geralt of Rivia, and the best company to boot, Yarpin Zigrin. It's been years, you old prick. It's great to see you in good health. Geralt, staring as if you've seen a ghost. Muster up a hug for an old friend. Geralt's head's not exactly on straight. Ha! Meaning he truly did in, Foltest. Fine by me. Foltest was a plowing niggard and a niggardly plower. You did right, Geralt. Not the point. Geralt's lost his memory. And I didn't kill Foltest. Right, right. What's the difference? Someone did. But we've bigger problems now. Hey. Where's Saskia? Oh, aye. Why is this butcher here? I've come with a hundred archers, the best in the world. We're here to aid your cause. Well, you'll need to wait. Saskia and Prince Penis, sir, uh, rather Skinnis, went off to parley with Henselt. Me and the boys are waiting in case something goes wrong. The sun's gone dark. Call the sorceress! Come, Geralt. Here we go. Oh. Okay, guys, we're just gonna absolutely try and smash these guys to pieces. That's pretty much the goal here. Got him. How many do we have to kill? Got him. Is that it? Oh, no. Okay, we're now fighting some big dudes. Oh. Okay, ready? Got one? 
Excellent. Right, we got them both. We got them both. Whoa. Here we go. Oh, I love the Kieran armor on this. I'm not a big fan of the hoods. Oh, here we go. Okay. An owl! Philippa, she'll show us the way. Jorvith, you've got some explaining to do. My Elrond's blood wraiths. Silver harms them. I'll cover you. Marty, oh, shite. Me. Shut up, Dwan. <laughs> Shut up, Dwan. <laughs> I wanted to loot that, and I it just made me attack instead. Ow. Okay. We're just going to follow Philippa then, I guess. They can't really seem to get close. So I don't think I need to do anything. See, goddamn, Philippa could not only transform to an owl, then have this weird shield wall up, but then also attack, and then Triss makes some butterflies, and she just goes unconscious. You know what I mean? Oh, do I have to walk the whole time? Just having a nice walk. Ooh. So this is the battlefield, guys. Really go oh. oh yeah, we gotta kill the wraiths, I think. Ow. My health's pretty low. There's all the wraiths. One more. Is that it? Oh. Boom. I need to restore some health badly. I, I took too many risks. Come on, guys. They're so slow. They expect me to just walk the whole time. But then if I walk too far, they, they uh, stop anyway. Oh. Okay, so they're just all fighting. Shit, you stink. Come on, Philippa. We're going through here? Oh no. This is a long old journey. Come on. Right. First up, that. Second up. Got him. Whoa. Oh, that's a weird way to die. <laughs> okay. Do you know, I absolutely love the story in this game. You know, I can talk about it now, actually, while I'm here. Um, I'll just be here for a while, anyway. So, recently, uh, Henry Cavill said that he'd actually like to play Geralt. And if you guys don't know who Henry Cavill is, if you've seen the film, uh, let's think, Man of Steel, who was in that? He's in the new um, uh, Tom Cruise film, Mission Impossible. And that's Henry Cavill. And he's he basically he plays a lot of video games and stuff. Um, he said he'd like to play Geralt. Um... The director, I don't think, at this point, has said anything about it, or any of the writers or anything. But, um, a lot of people think that they'd like that, but personally, I'm not a big fan of it. And the main reason I don't really think Henry Cavill should play Geralt, is just simply because of the fact that he doesn't really look like how Geralt's described in the books at all. And, and I know that you can change people with whatever and all the rest, but I mean, like, Geralt isn't supposed to be an incredibly handsome person, you know? He's meant to be, like, attractive, sure, but... He's not meant to be particularly handsome. I mean, I've seen the idea being thrown around that he might actually make, um, Henry Cavill might actually make a very, very good Vilgefortz. And honestly, I could see that. I don't think his acting's that bad or anything. I, I think he's actually a pretty good actor in some things. 
Um, I think sometimes he gets pretty terrible scripts and all the rest, but I think as an actor, he's actually pretty good. I don't think he'd suit Geralt. I mean, and I know that might be um, an unpopular opinion or whatever, but I really, I really don't think he would. I think he is a bit young, and I know people are saying that he'll be a younger Geralt, but if they're going off the short stories, Geralt will still look very similar to what he looks like now, because it wasn't really all that long ago. So, um, sorry, I had to almost shout then, I couldn't hear anything. But I'm sure you understand what I mean. But anyway, we'll, we'll watch this. Philippa Eilhart. Heat flying through fog. Saskia, are you all right? It's just a flesh wound. You and the Witcher, we owe you our lives. I'm here to protect you. And you, Witcher? I'm after a Kingslayer who kidnapped Triss Marigold. And brought her here? Is this an interrogation? There are warrants on your head in Tamaria, Kedwin, and Redania. And I'm responsible for Saskia's safety. That's enough, Philippa. You told me yourself you thought him innocent. Saskia, folk are riled. First the sun went out, then the squirrels arrived. Now this fog. It's too much for the common folk. True. Summon all the commanders to the meeting hall. Yorveth, give me some time. I must prepare them for your arrival. Witcher, Philippa, you must be there too. I wish to hear what we can expect from this anomaly and how we might be rid of it. Worry not, Yarpin. The legendary White Wolf and the equally famous Philippa Eilhart should have a remedy for several hundred rabid wraiths. Well, not sure about equally famous. I'd say Geralt's probably more famous just from Dandelion's ballads, amongst other things. I want to see all oh, commanders in the council chamber. Philippa, that includes you and the Witcher. Cecil, the gates are to remain shut until we're done. You'll answer with your beard if they open for any reason. Oh, not his beard. Boom. Welcome to Vergen, Witcher. I'm Cecil Burden, the Alderman, Geralt of Rivia. We've got a spare room at the inn. It's not much, but uh, at least you'll have a roof over your head and a solid bed neath your arse. Thanks. I could use that. Scalen, show Master Geralt to his quarters, and visit Reverend Alkin's chambers on your way back to inform everyone that uh, he has departed. That is, that he died a hero, slain by the invaders. Exactly. You see, Master Witcher? He's young but clever. We'll make a real dwarf out of him yet. Okay. Follow Scalen, then go to the War Council. Oh, yep, guys, so we're in Vergen now. This place is awesome. It's literally probably the only dwarven place you get to go to in the whole of the Witch series. And we'll be here a lot, so you'll get to see all around the city anyway. But honestly, this place is so cool. I absolutely love it. Look at all the architecture. Oh, I love it. Look, look at that. Because we're so close to Mahakam. Uh, at least Vergen's fairly close to Mahakam, I'm pretty sure. Oh, here we go. Oh, Ver did I say Verden? I meant Vergen. Right, let's continue. I'm just going to walk through these doors. So, at the Look, inn... Another one. You let one human in and in no time you've got a swarm. I'm not a human. Hello? Yeah, that's alright. Hello. Hello. So, Vergen's grown a bit, eh? At your service. It uh, looks like Lots there's a... What's going on around here? Aye. Uh, we've got a virgin dragon slayer. Squirrels dazzled with a politicking peasant, witches and a witcher. And onlookers gawking at the whole thing. Hope things get back to normal soon. That witcher, who's he? Is he that all we get? Can we can we actually talk to him? Lots going on around it. Uh, Hope. That's it, just a conversation. Okay, we'll follow um we'll continue following Scalen. Then we'll go to the war council. I'm looking forward to the war council. It's always fun. Okay, up we go. I've had to record this bit of the game so much, you know, just for videos. Every time it's something to do with, um, like I had to record it recently for a Yarpin video. And I had to record it for an Edurn video a little while back. And I also had to record it for my Mahakam video. So, <laughs> it just, I, I end up having to record this bit quite a this bit. Shall be your chamber, witch. Hello. They say Selkirk of Gullet himself slept in this bed before battle. So they say. Didn't bring him any luck. 
But at least he was well rested before he died. Need anything else? Thanks, no, I'm Scott. fine. Oh, sorry, I was just checking what was in there. So now we can go to the War Council, and I think we're just going to head off straight there. As we have no need to really dawdle about a bit. We're going to see uh, if there's any quests we can get. We can check probably with the Inky. We can probably do some fist fighting if necessary. Since when do noblemen fight peasants? Sign of the times. Saskia treats the peasantry as our equals. And once you let a dog inside, it will never sleep in the dog. But that's not for me to judge. The point is, you can make good coin on fist fights. Okay, to be Any rules to this? Each contender puts down his stake, which rises the more fights he wins. If you want to fight, put down some coin. Up for the next fight, or are you just going to stand there and go? Oh, I'll definitely fight. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Contender, please. For starters, you'll fight a novice. Fine. Stand and fight, but first, show me your coin. Uh, now, it, do maximum out every time. We're going to win. These fights are easy. In that case, betting is now open. Let's go. It's the last fist fighting I did in... I would have done some fist fighting in The Witcher 1, but I think I did Don't some in this game as well, didn't I? Him. Oh, I clicked the wrong button. God damn it. I always get it right. That was so weird. Okay, there you go. It's alright, it's just a novice. Boom. That was a sight for sore eyes. Beautiful fight. Congratulations on your win. No problem. You're moving up the ranks, sir, just like your winnings. Ready for another fight? Sure, sure. Worthy contender, please. The better the opponent, the better the fight. The better the fight, the higher the stakes. The higher the stakes, the bigger the winnings. True, true. Alright, we'll go right the way up to 50. Let's just keep on making money. In that case, betting is now open. We want to make as much money as we can, just because it's cool to have. <laughs> okay, A, B. Oh my god, that would absolutely wreck someone. Y, A. Stop stroking him and wrap him up! I just flipped him over on his back. Oh! How is he still standing? Between the eyes. Yeah, that's right. Fighting is so much easier in this game. The Witcher 3 is probably the, end to the flailing probably the hardest, I guess. Which one's pretty easy too? Yours. You're moving up the ranks, sir, just like your winnings. Ready for a fight? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah let's do it. Please. Excellent. This is the strongest lad I know. He's knackered many a plow horse. The fortune he's made in his fist fighting career makes many a nobleman green with envy. Place your bet. They're built to like a hundred now, before right? It's too late. Sixty. Is this my final opponent then? Come on. There we go. In case, betting is now open. Right, let's do it. We're gonna win. This is probably gonna be quite hard, maybe. Y, B. Looks like a, uh... Oh, wait there. I can't think. I need to do this. A Reaver. There we go. Okay. X. That was even easier than the other guy. That was a sight for sore eyes. Beautiful fight. Congratulations on your win. A wonderful show of strength, precision, and agility. Seems there's no one left to challenge the new champion. You couldn't be more wrong. Sir oh. Sirat, it is I. <laughs> Funny seeing you here. You've <laughs> always claimed such fights were a primitive diversion for commoners. A true knight duels another in the exquisite company of ladies and real gentlemen. Oh, I, I'll never forget the great achievements of Selkirk in the tourneys. On many occasions did my brother prove his greatness. Alas, the world's going to the door. No, is this brother Today Selkirk? Today a knight must challenge commoners to prove his bravery. But there's a witcher among you. And though his blood is no match for mine, his warring mastery is satisfactory. Perhaps when he drops to the ground at my feet, you'll realize I'm not merely Selkirk's brother. I'll be known as Silgrat, 
every witcher's worst nightmare. I challenge you, witcher. The wager is two sacks of gold. Believe me, Silgrat doesn't challenge any old serf. Okay, you've got a dumb outfit, so sure. You want to prove you're your brother's equal? Show me what you're made of. Stand and fight. Stand and fight. Stop stroking him and wrap him up! Go, I will. I'll, I'll try. I thought I just defeated him, honestly. Bite these balls! Why? B. Stop stroking him and wrap him up! What is this outfit he's wearing? Jesus, Geralt! Try to kill him or what? You won. Finish me off. No. I'm no murderer. Besides, it was only a fist fight. I'd rather have died at your hands. Right. It was an honest fight, just like you wanted. You failed to understand. My reputation is ruined. My honor gone. I thrashed you and won a pile of coin. Not sure I care about your reputation. We'll meet again. Silgrat forgets no insult. Congratulations to the victors and thanks to the vanquished. You proved your mastery, Witcher. Fighting you is an honor. Let's tend to the pool. Fight these balls. Wait for events to unfold. Not the hour for punch-ups. Come back later. Don't be afraid of him! Well, I guess we'll just continue with the quest then. Well, that was a fun little side thing to do. Um, War Council. Let's continue with the main quest that we've just been sort of ignoring. Okay, well that was a fun little thing anyway. Enjoyed that. I think we have to go down here, don't we? And out. The cauldron. It's this way, isn't it? Regards. Hello. I thought it was his name then. Okay, I want to show you guys Vergen anyway. It's such a cool place. It's very, very well made. I absolutely love this game. Brilliant game. Look at it. Oh, look at the little, I believe they're ravens, are they? I don't know. I always choose ravens. It could be crows for all I know. I don't know anything about birds. Not my area of expertise, to be honest. So you see, this place is so cool. I love Vergen. I actually know the way to the uh, War Council. The <laughs> Hello, Dog. Ooh, pick that. Why not? Oh, a witcher. Yeah, that's all right. And what? Ooh, dwarven enchantment. Actually, I believe it's just up there, isn't it? Maybe. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure it's in here. There we go. Let's go to the war council then. You missed quite a scrap, gentlemen, and an opportunity to slay a monarch. There was a struggle and the prince was wounded. You've all seen the magical phenomenon covering the battlefield. For any who still have doubts, this is no mundane mist, nor a petty fairground illusion. Most likely, we're up against a blood curse, an old and powerful spell. We do not know who cast it or why. For now, I have one piece of good news and several pieces of bad news. The good news is that Henselt and his army have been halted for the time being. And the bad news? The mist will grow. It may even engulf Vergen. Furthermore, wraiths may emerge from it. Can they be made penitent? With an axe to the head? In theory, yes. But I would suggest putting your faith in a silver weapon. Furthermore, the ghosts will weaken as they move away from the mist. Is there any way to drive it off? Exorcise it. A question for myself and Geralt of Rivia. The Kingslayer? Contrary to what old women at the wells say, he did not, in fact, slay any kings. Of course he didn't. Wouldn't hurt a fly, that one. Look at his eyes. You'll see he's the sensitive kind. Whatever you may see in his eyes, few know more about lifting curses. Gentlemen, 
I do not require you to understand this phenomenon, but there are a few rules I insist you must follow. Here we go. No one is to approach the mist. It is mortally dangerous. We need to learn the story of the battle. For this, I especially count on the aid of Mr. Cecil Burden. At your service, my lady. Thank you. To lift the curse, we require some objects symbolic of the war, ones belonging to those who perished here three years past. Pfft! More scrap iron from that massacre lying about than lice in Cecil's beard. I thought curses were best handled with... Please leave the thinking to me, Mr. Zigrin, and I'd gladly hear less from you from now on. The objects must be magically active and strictly linked to the ghosts of the fallen. That is all. Let me be clear. You're all to aid Philippa and the Witcher. What are you grumbling about now, Yarpen? Uh, <clears throat> it's uh, something in my gullet. Take a swig of wine. Now, to worldly matters. How many are we? Saskia, you know well... How many? We dwarves are near 200. But don't judge us by our number. A half thousand peasants will come, though you'll get no precise count. My lords? Fifty-three knights and another two hundred armed men. Not enough. Henselt leads five thousand, five to one against us. What think you of that? We are few, they are many. But we have our walls, low though they be. If we had archers, who knows? Oh, for a regiment of heavy arbalists from Lyria. We have something better. Jorvith's elves. Scoyatel. Hey. Gentlemen, I give you Jorvith. What do you seek here, murderer? A hundred of the North's best archers await your orders, Dragon Slayer. You wished for archers? Here they are. I take no pleasure in fraternizing with elves. But even a shit coated stick can be a weapon. He burned down the villages of many in my horde. The free peasantry is one thing, but a criminal with a price on his head in all the northern realms? This is too much. Saskia, say the word and we'll depart. Hear me out. Jorvath came to fight for me. I trust him, and I know that he'll stay the course. Just like each of you. How could you know that? He's an elf. Treason runs in his veins. He's been hey. fighting humans for a century. But for the first time in scores of years, his fight makes sense. The Scoyatel know no peace. They've died for Nilfgaard, for the Valley of the Flowers, in vain. They've been betrayed and cheated. Now they have a new goal. The Pontar Valley could be the first state where no man would have to fear elven arrows when venturing beyond city walls. And elves and dwarves wouldn't live in ghettos or on reservations. First, however, we have a battle to win. You know who we're up against. It's a splendid army, brave and well-led. They cannot be scared off or routed. They have to be killed. I want Jorvath to sit at the same table as we do. I want him to kill Kedweni for us. And I assure you that he'll do so with a smile, if only you let him. If I'm to see a smile on that skinny face, I'm in. Jorvath stays. Bloody hell. Father's turning in his grave, but a must's a must. I say I. Nay, you killed my men, Elf. Remember them? If I hadn't killed them, they'd have killed me. All right. For the sake of better times, and for Kedwin's doom, I! Down with the sons of bitches! Cheers! She's dying. Take her somewhere safe and guard her with your lives. I'll gather what I need and join you soon. I'll place my best warriors on watch. Quickly, lads! A letter!
She ceased casting spells. Saskia, is she alive? In a manner of speaking, I've slowed her life functions as far as possible. Her condition is stable. What was the Do you poison? know the poison? Thormador, oh, his... commonly known as Mage Pain. It has a terrible reputation. An antidote must exist. What Can you do? heal her? Treatment will require herbs, magic, and blood. Not ordinary blood, I presume. Correct. We require royal blood. We could use Letho right now. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> the nearest king is on the other side of the Mist of Wraiths. You misunderstood me. It need not be the blood of a ruling monarch. It is the genotype contained in royal blood that is required. Kings issue from ancient dynasties. Over the ages, to survive, rulers needed exceptional resistance and strength. As royal dynasties rarely admit common blood, the strength of their genes remains great. I shall employ self-healing genetic therapy that will teach Saskia's body how to rid itself of the poison. You'll have a drink human blood. No. I shall inject it directly into her heart. Hmm. What kind of herbs are we talking about? Immortel. I'll need a subterranean variety of purple foxglove, known to the dwarves as the Immortel, and an elven rose of remembrance. Oh, Triss had a rose of remembrance? Hmm. Triss had a rose of remembrance. She claimed the flowers are exceptional. Long ago, the En Shea, who succeeded in cultivating the roses, enjoyed great respect. Times have changed. As have elves. There are no elven gardens nearby. We must return to Flotsam. Triss has a Rose of Remembrance from Flotsam. It's her we need to find. Okay. Where will we find immortelles? They grow deep beneath the earth, which should not be a problem as Vergen lies on top of a mine. How will they help Saskia? Mage pain wreaks havoc in internal tissues. The immortelle will help restore them. What else do you need to heal Saskia? Thormador is a self-perpetuating substance. Any incursion into a cluster of poisoned cells causes an immediate chain reaction. Each tainted cell that is removed is replaced by ten new tainted cells. To interrupt this reaction, I'll need an ungodly amount of the power. A water or air genie, or one of the twenty legendary rings of power would be best. One to bring them all and in the darkness bind them. Very right. random Tolkien and reference. Barefooted to the top of a volcano. All okay. right, all right. Let's forget the rings. I need a vast quantity of the power, no matter the source. Find something. An immortel, a rose of remembrance, royal blood and magic sounds like a fairy tale. A poor one at that. No prince's kiss to top things off. I wish it were a fairy tale, especially a poor one, as a happy ending would then be inevitable. May I count on your help, Geralt? You may. Sure. What about the Battle of Wraiths? I must first see if the spells keeping Saskia alive are in order. Then we'll consider how best to send the Spectres to their rest. Actually, you could tend to that yourself. Ask the locals about the battle, maybe you'll learn something. In that case, I shall search for the Poisoner. Okay. Your Beth and Geralt, best team. Only Philippa, got a lot to do now. Enter. Subterranean life. So, let's see what quest we got to do now. I'm gonna go to Stennis first to see if I can get this royal blood. But if not, oh, a witcher. so many quests coming in. Stennis. Pray tell, what compels you to disturb the Prince of Edirne, Witcher? I have a few questions. And you believe I should answer them instead of setting my dogs on you? I think oh, your Dick. Highness has enough foes, here, abroad, in Vengerberg. The intricacies of succession are not something I wish to discuss with an itinerant monster slayer. Succession is the t mm. Succession is the topic of choice in about every inn in the country. I don't know for sure, but I think the hangman of Vengerberg was the last to claim the throne. My patience has its limits, and at present, only my respect for Lady Saskia restrains my anger. Come to the point, or leave me be. Tell me, why are you here and not in the capital? The influential nobles seek to undermine my rightful claim to the throne. 
Unrest ripples through the kingdom. Saskia has muddled the minds of the peasants, and the burghers demand more rights. And your opponents are seizing the opportunity. The Umraut family, in addition to being wealthy and influential, is closely related to the royal line. They could halt my coronation and put forward their own candidate. The families that remain undecided are the key. They must back me. They will do so only once I've shown myself to be a strong candidate. And greatness is something I can achieve only here, at the center of events. And in the process, steal a little fame from the Dragon Slayer of Vergen. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out where this fog came from. What exactly happened here three years ago? Hensel's mages committed mass murder. A dark day for the knighthood and all people of honor. But it was honor that allowed us to survive. There was no defeat. No victory. Honor stood against wickedness. Virtue against black magic. You took part in that battle? My father stayed in the capital. He was to defend Vengerberg. I took to the field. I wanted to stop Henselt before he crossed the Pontar, but I was too late. So I decided to await him at Vergen. Henselt's army was exhausted. We would have triumphed if not for that heinous act. Henselt had mages with him, and they cast a treacherous spell on the entire battlefield. A fiery rain fell from the heavens. Destructive, murderous embers which brought the battle to an end. I gathered the few survivors and withdrew deep into the country. The soldiers were terrified. But Henselt showed no desire to pursue. Hmm. You wrote Vergen off. There's a place in Kedwin where orphans are subjected to cruel experiments. Nine out of ten boys perish from the pain. Sound familiar? They say that sacrifices are necessary to create one witcher. One hero to defend the people against monsters. Not the best analogy. You know nothing of military strategy. And you've never been responsible for a nation's fate. Which is why I forgive you your ignorance. Only a master mage could have cast such a powerful Sabrina spell. Sabrina Glevesig. I suspect he could not have accomplished it alone. I remember Sabrina Glevesig. Through the flames I saw her observing the carnage from her mount, dressed in a hunting suit. Straight-backed. Dispassionate. Sabrina. If I remember correctly, she's Henselt's advisor. Was. Henselt condemned her to death for casting that spell. The Kedwenis roasted in their armor, just the same way the Adurnians did. You know what struck me when all hell broke loose? What I found astonishing and even amusing? Going into battle, we sang our Adurnian songs. They intoned their Kedweni hymns to Creve. But when fire descended from the sky, our cries of pain were no different. We all wailed as humans. For an instant, the magnitude of the tragedy brought together our two warring nations. I still have no idea where the spectral fog came from. I'm afraid I don't know either. Um... You might be surprised, Prince, but I have more political experience than I'd like. The famous Geralt of Rivia. Invited to the table by Calanth, Faltust's little favorite. I've heard you've even parleyed with the Emperor of Nilfgaard. Think I'm impressed? Calanth is dead. Meave curses your name when she hears it. Faltus was murdered before your very eyes, and the Emperor, as I heard it, he thought you insignificant. Are you going somewhere with this? Indeed. You should know that a king sometimes needs a hired thug to take care of dirtier deeds. If the thug is naive enough, instead of reaching into his purse, the king buys him with virtuous words, the flash of his rings, pledges of friendship. And when, having done his deed, the thug departs, swaggering proudly like a peacock, the king discreetly giggles. Truly, I never thought you could be so pitiful. Get God, out! What? No! Get out! Um... Get out! Fine. Dickhead. Well, thanks, Dennis. That's very kind of you. Can I get out and get back in? Get out! Right, well, I guess we can't get his blood. He probably would have said no anyway, to be honest. Just judging from his um, reaction there. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. We'll go with, well, I don't know. We'll go subterranean life, why not? People of Vergen. Oh. We have a magical mist full of ghosts just outside our walls. So you'd better think twice before entering it. 
The mist? May the plague take it. Threatens all manner of creatures. So anyone headed to the quarries or walking through the gullies should take exceptional heed. The squirrels that have made camp by the burnt huts are not our enemies. So says Saskia. And so it is. Master Geralt of Rivia and Sorceress Philippa Eilhart will deal with the mist and the wraiths. And now, open the gates and get to work. Okay. I must talk to you, Witcher. Feel free. Let's, let's have a chat. What's going on? Oh, Elias. I'm Elias, of Jorveth's commando. I have an urgent matter. Tell me. Men from Vergen have been disappearing for some time. We recently found some of their corpses, so it doesn't seem to be desertion. Why is my mouse on the screen? Whoop. We'll put it in the corner. Um. Where did he find the bodies? In different places, mainly in the burned village near the ravine that leads to the town. Only men among the victims? Young men. Humans and elves. I need to see the corpses. They're all buried. Where? Beneath a mound in the forest behind Vergen, but you shouldn't go there. Why not? Desecrating graves is a serious offense. The families of the dead will be furious. What state were the bodies in? They looked gruesome. Nothing an elf would have done, nor a human. Hmm. I don't work for free. You'll get your reward. Do well, and I may give you something more than coin. We're losing oh, I'm good not into that. men. I'll see what I can Fine, do. Fine, we'll do it. Right, well, we'll do that quest as well. I'd like to get all the side quests done before I move on to the main stuff, but because we're already headed Let here, I'm just going to go with it. Another one fell from this. Get out! Come on! I'm coming. I'm coming. Get out! Sit down. We haven't yet celebrated your raid into the mist. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry. Where are my manners? Sheldon Skaggs, veteran of the battles of Sodden and Me. Brenna. And all lands along the way. You've already met Vergen's elder? Greetings. Gentlemen, not sure about you, but my throat's parched from all these greetings. Funny, those were the first words out of your mouth. Master Dandelion's right. Around for everyone. On me. You won't tell. Let's I'll drink. I'll gladly <laughs> wash the road's dust from my throat. Especially in such good company. <sighs> Too bad Caleb Stratton's not here. Be rest in peace. A worthy dwarf he was. Here's to him. Sheldon, you're lagging behind. I've got a little screw coming tonight. More reason to drink makes you more vigorous. My prick winters like an old crone's tits if I drink. <laughs> I'd tie a carrot to it. So, what brings you here, Geralt? Um. Well, ask all three, Ever I guess. Heard of a unit called the Dun Banner? Oh, my screen's going to Apparently, they left their standard behind during the last war. I need to find it if I'm to lift the curse. Aye. The standard lies in a crypt with those of the unit who perished here. Where's this crypt? Not the easiest place to find. Turn right past the market. And look for a passage carved right through the rocks. That'll lead you to a valley filled with tombs and crypts. To the fallen! Have you ever heard of a plant called the Dwarven Immortal? Have we? The pigs have tight arses. To tell the truth, I've no <laughs> idea, Skags. <laughs> but it's just a saying. You're the only one using it. Witcher, the Immortal. It appears most often near anthracite and aluminosilicate deposits. Philippa needs it to heal Saskia. A rare curio, but there's a mine nearby, and who knows, you might find it deep underground. Where's the mine? Why, Why are you fighting for, Saskia? fighting for Saskia? If I had a knack for business, I'd be sitting on my arse in my own inn, not giving a shit for this war. And what's my trade? Axe swinging. That's what. And if I could get killed, I'd rather know what I'm risking my neck for. The woman's cuckoo. Ready to spit in the Emperor's face, even. But I have to admit, she knows all about Warcraft. And damn it, she's right. Free Vergen. No matter if you're a dwarf, man, or mangy elf. Do you hear him, Zigrim? Down in the elves already. But I bet he wouldn't sniff at 30 additional archers in battle. Where's the mine? the mine for? Not at all. It's in Vergen itself, in the town's upper quarter. 
You're eager for this expedition, but uh, nobody told the Witcher that the mine's closed. Closed? That's true. But it's long overdue a cleaning. Weed out all the underground shit. What are you talking about? Not a month ago, miners started disappearing. Must have tapped the wrong vein and woken some scum from the deep. We wanted to send a crew of stout fellows in, but Saskia said she needs all the soldiers she can find up top and ready to defend the town. We closed the shaft, fearing the filth would emerge and overrun us all. Looks like we arrived just in time, eh, hey, Geralt? So it seems. Let's go. Right on. With this crew, we needn't fear any monster. How about you, Sheldon? You coming with us, or staying around to get your fuck? Another chance that this won't come around in a hurry. Fucking can wait. I'm with you. Let's meet at the mine's entrance. <laughs> I'm guessing Dandelion's gonna stay here. Good thing you're here, Geralt. A rhyme for wonder? I'm no poet. I know, but you have good ideas sometimes. Yonder? Good! Writing a sonnet for your new muse? Better than that. I'm composing an anthem for Vergen. Want to hear the first version? No. Listen. May those who dream of freedom arise, seeing the sight of liberty with their eyes. Let us go together, become our brother. The choice is yours, you know there's no other. How far shall we venture in this great wonder? Elf, dwarf, and human set forth together yonder. Like it? It rhymes, kind of. All right then, tell me what you discovered. You seem pretty devoted to the cause. You're with this change. I'm starting to believe I'll find Jennifer. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, we'll go sure. with that. Letho's not on this side of the fog. If you wanted to pursue the assassin, you should have gone to Hensel's camp with Roach. Just because I went after Triss doesn't mean I've forgotten about Letho. Why do you care so much? It's not your coop or your chickens. Um... Letho knows a lot about me. There are certain things that probably only he can explain. I'm not so sure you want to know them. We'll see. Let's say you catch him. What then? I don't want to kill him. I'll kill him. We'll go for it depends. I'll decide once I've heard him out, learned the truth. Maybe I'll see his point. Or maybe I'll just cut off his head. That one. Is it my imagination, or have you become a propaganda mouthpiece for the court? You know what I really like about this place? There is no court. People are with Saskia because they want to be, not because they have to or should be. You have a tendency to go from one extreme to the other. And you have a tendency to shit on every ideal, even the most noble. I try to take an objective view of the world. Yet you've joined us. You have, haven't you? I'm on Vergen's side, at this time. Don't want to commit, eh? Well, Vergen isn't some whore you can just screw and forget. I like to be careful. You're, you're right. right. Once you're on a teetering bridge, you might as well cross it. Finally, spoken like a man. Oh, sorry, that was racist. Wise words, Witcher. Your with has changed. I'm starting to believe I'll find Yennefer. My there we go. Back. It's just bits and pieces so far. But I can feel them coming together, forming a whole. What have you remembered? The voyage. An endless trek south. I was following Yennefer and the wild hunt. I had no idea how long. It got cold. Only old people were left in the villages I passed through. But they all refused to tell me what had happened to the young. To their children. I finally pressed a man for information. He blamed it on wolf packs, on an outburst of drowners and rot fiends. No one mentioned the wild hunt. Did you catch up to the hunt? I don't know. Got anything you can follow? I'm looking. You once mentioned some elven poems about the hunt. I believe I said they could exist, and they'd be old. I don't know any, but look around. You're pretty good at finding things. Hmm. My memories and feelings seem inextricably linked. I seem to be recovering both. I believe Yennefer's alive, and I'll eventually find her. Triss? Yennefer? That's some life you lead, my friend. First off, we have no idea if Yennefer's still alive. Second, we have no idea if Triss is alive. Hmm. True. You seem to have two women, when in fact, you don't even have one. Their kind doesn't die easily. I believe I'll find Triss alive. And Yennefer? I won't know what to do about her until I see her. 
Oh, I do. Yours <laughs> seems to have changed. Everyone changes here. Except you, of course. I'm not sure I like changes of that kind. I find them hard to believe. You're an idiot. Saskia is giving Yorvith a chance. If he uses it well, he'll finally be able to emerge from that hole in the ground he's been living in for years. That's the least of it. If he plays his cards right, he can win everyone's respect. People only remember what they want to win. I suppose you're right. A free state in the Pontar Valley could turn Yorvith from a brigand into a knight. Which is why it's useless to wonder why he's changed. I wouldn't trust him with my child. But who knows what he'll become? And then he was never seen again in The Witcher 3. <laughs> anyway guys, I'm going to end today's video there. I've been recording for quite a while now and I feel like I can cut this down to about half an hour. So yeah, I hope you've all enjoyed today's part today anyway. This is such a fun game, I absolutely love playing it, so I've had a really good time today. As always, be sure to go and follow me on Twitter, Twitch, you guys know about all that. And also, of course, a big thank you to the Patreon pledges. You guys are amazing. It's very, very kind what you do. I just want to say thank you to every single one of you. I'm glad to put all your names at the end of these videos, as it's just so kind what you do. And thank you to everybody that just donates. It's very, very kind of you. As always, guys, I hope you've all enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Have an awesome rest of the week.